Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. You doing good? Yeah. I can't hear you. Are you doing good? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Like Mr. Christensen said, my name is Matthew Crassel. I'm very glad to be back. It's it, this was because this was a great school, and I'm very glad to finish off the 2016 to 17 school year for coming back to the high school. It's very it's very exciting. So I always want to start with my presentations really about what autism is in general. It's just an overview of really what it is. So what the main definition of it is, is that the autism is a treatable neurological spectrum disorder, which actually affects between 1 to 150 children, youth, and adults in British Columbia alone. So that's basically everybody of all ages. And most people that have autism see things differently than other people. That's basically the main reason why I got that diagnosis at a very young age. Some people that have autism also may have problems learning different subjects anywhere, which is like, you know, mathematics or there's, there's several subjects I've learned that I'll talk to you about as well. So the beginning of my life, I was born on May 7th, 1998. So very recently, uh, I just turned 19 and I enjoy being 19 and, and early just beginning of adulthood. Preschool years, I went to the Child Development Center. It's a good preschool. Uh, th the only thing that was when I started preschool, I went to preschool for two years, by the way. Um, but also, that was also the first year where I met so many different people I've never met before that I got to become friends with for two years. But I just don't see much of them anymore. So because after that, because when they finished preschool, they went on somewhere else in their lives for their new chapter in elementary school, high school, and wherever they're at now. And it was very tough for me at a young age to be autistic. It really was, and I'm gonna explain more about that to you in just a few minutes. So in elementary school, I went to Uplands Park Elementary School. It was a good school. Is it, was there any Uplands students? There's a few, I know there's few. Yeah, Uplands was a great school. It was, it was a good school to, for myself, for, it was just for everything that Uplands has done for events, assemblies, and stuff like that. And, but also, Uplands, I was nervous to start at Uplands kindergarten because when I first went to the, the very first class where I was at for a year, I was very nervous because I didn't know what to expect. No, everybody's like that when they start a new chapter in their lives. They're thinking, what am I going to expect next? But what made me nervous the most in kindergarten were the teachers that I met, that were, because they were all new teachers. Teachers I've never had in preschool the year before I started kin kindergarten. But then when I went to grade one, it was very different because I had lots of learning problems as well as behavioral issues, especially during recess. And recess was probably the worst, it's kind of a nightmare to me because I got into so much trouble. But in grade four, grade four was the worst year because I got into so much more trouble then. Going to the principal's office or just talking to teachers or EAs and kind of like give, giving me a detention too many times. Because it, it has happened, trust me, it happened to me so many times. But then in grades five to seven, it started to improve a bit with my behavior during that time. But it wasn't 100% though as how I am now. So high school, I did go to the school, like Mr. Christian has said, for five years. Wellington is a great school. I really enjoyed being here for five years. It's emotional for me, especially now, because I'm graduated and trying to remember all the times I've had year, for so many years, just all the memories. Grade eight, the first day of high school, so when I was you guys' age, first day of high school was very different for me, especially at this year. Because first of all, there's a few reasons. First of all, the building was very huge, so that, which meant I didn't, know what to expect when I go to classes, like which class I'm going to go to for different courses, because you always have to rotate the classes like you guys do, right? And then also, another reason was in my orientation day of grade eight, I was going over to the school, went inside, and then I saw all these students that I've never seen before. And I was like, wait a minute, that's gotta be students from different elementary schools coming f to join the grade eights with my grades at Wellington for the year and for the 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So yeah, and then I, I realized something, which was I met two times more of the students this, uh, over in, here in this school than I did uh, over at Uplands and preschool. 
and it, it, it doubles a lot, like especially if you're gonna go to university next year or after grade 12, or if you're gonna go to work like, like I do. I, I work full time. So, and, and I met, met more friends and still connect with them. And I still connect with all my old friends. Like, of course, you guys are all my friends. I also remember all of you guys over the years. So I'm just gonna skip over to grade 11 because grade nine and 10 were similar to grade eight. So just go to grade 11. So the biggest, there was a big moment in grade 11, which, which I decided on my own, basically to change my life completely. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, so to start the story off, I was trying to go to sleep one night, and I know a lot, every, every single one of you had those moments before where you're trying to fall asleep, but you just couldn't, right? So I tried to fall asleep one night two years ago, and it, I just couldn't because what happened was I was trying to remember, try to think about all the bad stuff I did over the years in school. So, which was, you know, fighting and also being so rude to students and teachers over the years, even in the early high school years here. So before I fell asleep, what, ha what I whispered into my own mind was, the next morning when I come to school, I'm gonna go around to all my friends I've known for whenever, a long five plus years, and just say, I'm sorry. And I just, and I felt very emotional too. I was teared up too because of how bad I was over the years. And then what happened was I, I gave them all a hug too after I apologized because of how emotional I was. I had to give them hugs. And then after that, once my life changed completely, all my friends in high school just started to become such amazing friends to me, just like right now. Like even if the grads that graduated with me, they'll still remember me, like they're gonna be so happy to see me if I met, caught them somewhere, like out around grocery stores or something like that, or you know, sports games or something. It's very, very interesting. It would be, and also coming to visit here, it's, it's very emotional times, but I very, really like seeing all of you guys. So grade 12, this was last year. The final year of high school was absolutely was emotional because of remembering all the memories I've had for the last five, four years of being in high school. And also during the 2016 high school award ceremony, I received something, it was called a school spirit award. And what that is, is, I sh is if a student showed support to Wellington for not just the students, the teachers, but everything in this, this property, they, would deserve, they deserve something called the school spirit award. And I, wa I wasn't one of them. There was another student too, I couldn't remember who it was, but there was, there was a few people that won it. And it was really awesome. And I also won it in grade 11 too, but this was the biggest one though. So here's some pictures. The one on the left was me when I was your age, grade eight. Then the other one was me in grade 12. So when you get to grade 12, folks, you're, you gotta be ready to dress in a gown like this and wear a tie and look great for the picture. But I gotta be honest, I try not to smile because I was not excited to graduate because of how much I enjoyed school and get my good education. So if whoever was raised their hand saying they were going to Rock City, I don't know if you guys will remember this card. It's a gra big grad card I got from Rock City Elementary School from the staff and the students. This was probably the best grad card, probably the only good grad card I ever got. It's probably the greatest because it, it has all the names on there, even the staff is on there, and also this is the best part. Then step into the future with confidence and always be proud of who you are. And congratulations, best wishes from Rock City Elementary. And it had all these names on it. It really meant a lot. And I'm, I'm never going to throw that away. It was probably the best thing I've ever, ever got. And it's just, I always had to share it in my presentations every time I go to different schools. So now I'm going to show you something called a big step. So remember what I was saying a few minutes ago about the School Spirit Award? Here's a double step to this. So what this is, is this is a Tom, what we call the Tom Mason Wildcat Award. And it's over out in the hallway, just over at the side. So whenever, when it comes to lunchtime, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you look at all those awards and you see the Tom Mason Wildcat Award. You'll, you'll see this here. And that's Mr. Mason right there, by the way. Um, he's retired as a vice principal here last year. A really good vice principal. 
when he was here. And he was also a teacher. He was a PE teacher and a socials teacher. And he was also a coach in sports. And he's, he's been around for 26 years showing support to all of the, all the students and other staff, just showing a lot of pride to Wellington. And they, and they wanted to do this as a surprise for Mr. Mason to award, have his own award, Tom Mason Wildcat Award, but they also wanted a student to win it. So for, only for the, for the student that actually did the same thing, it's kind of the same, similar things as what Mr. Mason did. So, so true enough, I was the winner for that. So this is what it's like. So when you go out in the hallway, you'll see my first and last name, Matthew Crasso, 2015-16 over in the hallway, it will always be on there. It's never gonna go away. Um, but once I graduated from high school, it was, I was very disappointed, very disappointed to leave all my awesome friends I've known for a very long time, five plus years or however long, whenever I met all these people. So I'll just show you two of them. Uh, the one on the left there, um, his name is Daniel Goodman, a good friend of mine. From, I met him at orientation in grade eight, and we're still best friends at this day. Um, he comes over to visit quite often over at my place. And the other one is stayed in Norquay. He, he was a friend of mine. We met a bit in grade eight, but we weren't, we didn't talk much. But, but once we got to grade nine and we had a class together, then that's when we really got connected. And he's a good friend of mine. Now, just to finish, just before I finish, I wanna ask you guys all a quick, a, a good question. You don't need to ch give me the answer. I just want you just to think it into your own mind for as long as you can, which is, how can you show school spirit to Wellington? How can you do it? Because you know, I can't just be the only one here that was a graduate that showed the school spirit. It, it, it's gotta be passed along to everybody. And there's gotta be a way most of you guys can do, show us the school spirit. And it's easy, but there's lots of different ways though. Especially if you wanna like, you know, show support or give, volunteer for something interesting, like a club or an event or something like this. Or, or shows up, give like say Mr. Christensen a hand with something, that's something major that he needs some extra help with. Cause that's what happened with me and Mr. Mason. When Mr. Mason was still here, I gave him a hand quite a lot for different different things. Then that's how I deserved all this. And showing support to students, changed my life completely. And trying to share my life, my autistic life to different schools. Cause I've been speaking at my autistic life at different schools for two years and also uh, to all people of all ages. So now we're just gonna go into questions. Is there anybody that has any questions? Yeah? Were you making friends during school high school? Oh yes, oh yes. When I was very young, definitely in elementary school it was. It really was, because I know um, the, another good reason why I didn't like being autistic, because remember, being, being autistic, it can't go away. So that means I'm gonna be autistic for the rest of my life. But it's basically meaning that when I was trying to meet new friends at, well, at, at Uplands and here, it was just a little tricky. But when I got to high school, it was easier because of how, I, cause how much I cared. And it, even now, it would be easier because I'm just meeting all of you guys and how, how cool you guys are. Yeah, thanks. Ms. McRae? Yeah, sure. Uh, I know, um, especially when I hear about something, uh, there would be something that I would just disagree to, but everybody else does. Uh, not just like voting in the election, but it's like ideas and stuff like that. Like I can think of things so different to my own mind that could be better than what the others are thinking of. Because it's happened to me in school many times. That's probably a major thing. And, and you know, p p family ideas sometimes too, same thing not just in school. I've had this with family, uh, thinking about so many different things and, and I sometimes see the world different too. Yeah, thanks. Uh, any other students, the teachers? Nobody? No? I just wanna finish off by sharing with you guys my website, www.mmcrassel.wix.com forward slash my site. I got music on there. I've been a musician for 11 years, so I got some good music, as well as other speeches I've done in schools that you can check out, as well as um, interviews I've done. I've done interviews before, and as well as, 
especially the good part, the facts. I have really good, interesting facts that you guys will find interesting that you haven't known about me yet. But once you get on that, you'll pretty much know everything about me. <laughs>